ECOWAS has made the decision to keep all options on the table for a peaceful resolution. The bloc has also approved military intervention in Niger, ordering for the deployment of a standby force. Nigerians, on the other hand, have vowed to defend the country. ECOWAS is not really playing its role because we expected it to be on the side of the people of Niger and to be a structure that represents the aspirations of the people. It should not create conditions that endanger the lives of the people of Niger. ECOWAS should know that the people of Niger are not afraid of military intervention. Whatever they do, we will stand by our government. We will stand by President Tiani. We will be there to defend the land of our ancestors. We are not against the idea of negotiation. But where have you seen a deposed president reinstated? We've never seen it, and it won't work with Niger. If the ECOWAS forces come to attack Niger, the first victims will be the civilians. We will be the first to defend our country before our defense and security forces intervene. So let ECOWAS know that we will not sit back. This is a matter of life and death, a matter of our dignity and sovereignty. We have lost our dignity, our sovereignty, our honor, and all our values because of the former regime, because of France, and because of the levity of ECOWAS. Niger's military leaders have reportedly threatened to kill the ousted president, Mohamed Bazoum, if ECOWAS intervenes. The military governments of Burkina Faso and Mali say military intervention in Niger would be considered a declaration of war against them. The threats from multiple sides have escalated tensions in the country. Clonella Lupuana, CGTN.